All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and we've had the IS Luna in Destiny 2 for two weeks now, and so I want to bring you an updated God World Guide. Now that we've had enough time to, you know, experiment with this in both PvE and PvP, it's very important that I bring you an updated God World Guide, so that way you know which roles you want to chase for right now if you're doing the dungeon, if you're doing that boss checkpoint, which are the best roles, what are the roles to keep, and what are the roles to dismantle. So let's go ahead and start off with the PvE role, because it's a little bit simpler. Like I mentioned before, this PvE role with Headstone is crazy in the current sandbox. If you're using a Stasis subclass along with this, this is such crazy ad clear. It's like Dragonfly times three back in the day when Dragonfly was actually really good. It's like that. It's so, so good. You want to use Headstone if you're going to use this in PvE. This is really good build to use with anything Stasis, especially Behemoth. Behemoth got a massive buff as well. So Headstone is definitely the go-to for PvE. Although I will say Demo is really nice as well because with demo, you can, uh, you know, get your grenade back. And right now with the current ability regeneration, it feels pr pretty nice. Along with uh, kill clip can be pretty good in Grandmasters because something like Rampage, you won't keep those stacks going. So if you get a kill with weapon, kill clip can be okay. But overall, I'm going to say Headstone is just the S tier perk. And these other perks are A tier at best, in my opinion. Now, going into the next perk slot, there's really nothing else that even needs to be talked about. I mean, you do have things that reload the weapon faster. You got Rapid Hit, you got Outlaw, Perpetual. But truly, unrelenting is definitely the way to go, especially in PvE. I mean, you're out there, you're clearing ads, and they're shooting back at you. Acolytes are shooting back at you. If you get two kills within an eight-second time period, you get immediate, instantaneous health regeneration. Unrelenting is such a strong perk in PvE. It's not something you see a whole lot because not a whole lot of weapons have the best perk combinations to go with it. But this combination right here is amazing and is definitely the role you want to look for or a PvE IS Luna Unrelenting and Headstone. Along with this, we'll probably use something like Appended Mag, although other magazine perks really aren't that bad either, like Armor Piercings is not going to be too bad either, um, or even Flared Magwell for that matter. And then as far as sights go, it really doesn't matter that much for sights. It doesn't make as big a difference as it as it could. And so just something with handling fast draws, not too bad. And then a reload speed masterwork, because you're going to have to reload this bad boy. A masterwork would actually be pretty nice. I would much rather have a reload speed masterwork over handling range or stability. And then we're going to throw something like a minor spec onto this. And that's going to be like your go-to, like this is what I take into PvE. And this is really, really good. And this will definitely do really well pairing, um, comparing against like the Volpa Kula, for example. And the reason why is because this is a, a little higher RPM or, or slower RPM rather, which hits for higher damage. So in certain activities, this archetype will one hit kill adds, whereas the Volpacula won't. And that's when you'll want to prioritize using the IS Luna with Headstone over the Volpacula with Headstone, if that makes sense. So that's a little bit more nuanced, I know. But now let's move on to the PvP god role for this, okay? In PvP, you have a few different roles that are really, really good. Obviously, you can go demo because the abilities have been nerfed a lot. Kill clip is really good. And the reason why kill clip's good, and a lot of people they don't appreciate kill clip anymore. The reason why kill clip's good is three reasons right now, okay? First off, when you get kill clip, you are going to extend the range, the three tap potential of this drastically, okay? When you get kill clip proc, you can hit a three tap from way further out than you would ordinarily be able to because you're doing more damage to the head. So you could hit those three headshots from way further. So that's why kill clip is first off very advantageous. The second thing is that this creates an incredible ease of use for using this hand cannon. You can then hit after getting kill clip to proc, one to the head and two to the body will kill uh, any guardian right now with their current resilience. So that's why you're going to want to use kill clip, especially. And the third reason that I'll give for you is that if you're playing a really smart player, especially in trials or in any playlist, and they know that you're using an IS Luna with kill clip or any weapon with kill clip for that matter, they're going to play scared. They're going to play passive for a few seconds and wait for that perk to turn off before they challenge you because it's just a smart decision, okay? But it's a very nuanced thing. That's something that only like high level players are gonna pay attention to and notice, but Kill Clip is a great perk for that reason, because when you know how your enemy is playing, you know what decision to make. For example, if you get Kill Clip proc and you know you're playing someone who's gonna make a smart decision with that and play a little bit passive, you can then push that corner and maybe shotgun them, whatever it may be, whatever your goals are to get to eliminate them, you can do, you can play according to a certain play style because smart players aren't going to push someone who's full health with Kill Clip proc it's just a bad decision, right? So keep that in mind. Snapshot is a really good option, like I talked about before. And I do think that Snapshot Rangefinder is still a really good role, if not a god role in and of itself. But you do have the helmet perk, and you can use the helmet perk to get really fast ADS. So I mean, Snapshot's not entirely necessary, but it's still a really good option, okay? Overall, I would choose Kill Clip probably over most of these perks, but Snapshot, Kill Clip, and Demo are all almost probably equally the highest and best perks for this weapon. Now, moving on to the next slot, we have a bunch of different options. Perpetual Motion 
is a great option though overall because all this requires for you to do is to strafe around and you can get multiple stacks of this perpetual motion if you're always moving around in pvp like you should be will be procced consistently you'll have multiple stacks of this perpetual motion is a really really strong and really good perk it gives you bonus stability handling and reload speed great perk here definitely an, an awesome option for this is luna the rangefinder is really good as well however this will zoom you in which not everyone really likes they don't like to zoom in a little bit more but the added range brought to this is just crazy. So those are definitely going to be the two best options, in my opinion. You could talk a little bit about unrelenting for the health regeneration. But overall, I think that just perpetual motion is just the big winner on this one. And definitely the one that I would choose to go with overall for this weapon. Moving on to the next one, we'll definitely go with ricochet rounds. That way we get an increase to, to range and stability. Most you can get to both of those. And that would give this weapon a really nice feel if you have ricochet rounds on it. I wish I had that on my roll. And then we'll go with sure shot as the last uh site here and that's going to give you the maximum amount of range so sure shot with ricochet rounds perpetual motion kill clip snapshot demo whatever you like there range finder kill clip it's also all good options all really good god rolls surely i would go for this one personally if i had to choose but each their own kind of depends on whether or not you're doing sixes kill clip will work a lot better for you in sixes like control clash and something like snapshot or demo work a lot better for you in something like trials but each their own moving on to the mass work uh, we're definitely going to go for range for pvp and then we'll use something like icarus when we're using this weapon and this is going to be your full god roll guide these are the weapons you should be looking for the roles you should be looking for when you farm the is luna dungeon the boss checkpoint so best of luck to you out there in getting those god rolls if you have a difference of opinion feel free to let me know down in the comment section below i'm always trying to learn more and always trying to update these god roll guides so that way i can bring you the best information that way we as a community can chase after the best roles of this weapon so feel free to leave your opinion down below if you have a difference of opinion and make sure to subscribe to the channel smash the like button i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching later